The wind comes from afar. It brings different scents. The bitterness of wilting grass. The smell of cooling soil. The salty dust of seawater. Then there came a day when the wind had changed. There was nothing left in the air but the ashes of unfathomable fires one had no hope of extinguishing. Now there is no more wind. The only thing left is the echoing emptiness of the metal tunnels. A space metropolis, created before the war even began, became mankind's only hope of salvation. Abandoned, scarred by numerous bombings, it managed to leave the planet as it writhed, dying, engulfed in flames and war. Now they're vagabonds, stuck outside time itself. Their only hope is a faraway world where they'll be able to start the history of man anew. Exiles whose memory of the past dims with each passing year, methodically recreate that which had almost destroyed their kind. It's so quiet. There's no wind today at all. The weather must be changing. Get up, my friend. We'd better hurry. Hi there. My name is Anatoly, and I'm the lead developer of Insomnia RPG. And this is Studio Mono, which is where development takes place. I'd like to speak with you a bit more about our game, Insomnia. Insomnia is a diesel punk RPG set in a dark, retro futuristic world, a true dystopia. The game features a complex, non linear storyline and a realistic, hardcore combat system. The game takes place on board a colossal space metropolis that's been moving towards the spectral evacuation point for over 400 years where the inhabitants of the station hope to begin mankind's story anew. As a player, you assume the role of one of the inhabitants of the space station. Your character will need to figure out what had happened on the station over the past four centuries, and your play style and game choices will impact the fate of many characters. As you progress, you find out what had actually forced the remnants of the human race who embarked on this perilous journey, whilst learning what new dangers are lurking ahead, threatening the lives of everyone on board the station. Gameplay-wise, we were inspired by classic old-school RPGs, which means lots of branching dialogues. You'll meet colorful characters, some of whom will become allies, while others will end up becoming sworn enemies. You'll explore deserted sectors of the space metropolis, where you have unexpected encounters. In order to survive, you have to withstand hunger, thirst, wounds, hostile environments and dangerous adversaries that inhabit the station. As with any real RPG, there's naturally a complex plot with plenty of ways to play and a multitude of endings. When we first started out, we had a couple of old computers and an enormous desire to make a game we would want to play ourselves. As we progressed on with development, we realized that we needed to bring on board more staff with varied skill sets in order for us to really make a game that suited our vision. All of that led to how a year and a half ago, we led a successful Kickstarter campaign, which allowed us to really get down to work in terms of developing the game, for which we are endlessly thankful to those backers who supported us in the very beginning. Everything you see now only exists because of your support, and thanks to you, we're able to really make our dreams come true. Over the past year, we've undertaken an incredible workload and changed from Ogre to Unreal Engine 4. As mentioned earlier, we've also hired several new additions to the team, all of whom are highly qualified, experienced professionals in their field. And the team is finally fully staffed and running at full throttle. 18 months ago, this was nothing but a dream. The majority of the storylines are done and we've compiled the key locations. We've always had a hunch that the visual aspect of the game is one of the strengths of our project, only now we're certain of it. 
Naturally though, achieving all of this was not an easy task, but now we're incredibly satisfied at the look and feel of the game's visual theme, and we can't wait to show you more as the campaign progresses. In order to achieve the current result, we contributed over $100,000 of our own funds into the project, on top of those that we received from the original Kickstarter campaign. And unfortunately, we've exceeded our budget. We were not able to do everything that we had planned to do, with the appropriate level of quality within the time and budget we had allotted for it. Things still need to be tested and balanced, content still needs to be worked on, voiceovers need to be recorded, writing needs to be edited, and everything needs to be translated. Basically, the process of optimizing all aspects of the game. Lots of complex problem-solving lies ahead, both technical and creative in nature. At this point, we're now at a fork in the road, having to choose between pushing back the release date indefinitely while trying to work on it without a budget, or successfully funding another campaign, showing the gaming community what we've accomplished so far with the prologue chapter of our game, and hoping that you really like what you see, and decide that the game is moving in the right direction, that you'll help us out one more time. Please download the prologue chapter and check out our website, where we have lots of additional information on the lore of the game, screens, art, videos and more. If you'd like to contribute to the development process of Insomnia, now's the perfect time to get in touch. We're always eager to hear from you and are ready to answer your questions and respond to your comments. We truly value your input and only with your help and support can we finally bring our vision to life.